I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Thomas Jefferson. I take one finger at the top in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot going towards the left, I'm going to draw curve line, curve line, curve line down, curve line up and leave it floating. Come back to the dot and I'm going to draw curve line, curve line, curve line, keep going, curve line and leave it floating. Come back over here to the left and we're just going to draw a slightly curved line out, down, connect. Okay? Come back to the dot. Put another dot right above it. Now we're going to go towards the left and we're going to draw curve line, kind of mimicking the lines we just drew. Curve line, keep going. Curve line out, curve line down, curve line up connect, come back to the dot, curve line, curve line down, curve line out, curve line up, and connect. Starting right here on the left, we're just going to draw a slightly curved line in, curve line out, off the page. Come over here on the right, we're going to draw a curve line out, down, curve line out, off the page. Okay, come inside this space and we're just going to draw one curve line on the left, one curve line on the right, come back to the left, slightly curve line, curve line under, connect on the left, slightly curve line, curve line under, connect on the right right in the center. Straight diagonal out, curve line down, up, and leave it floating. Come right about here down below and we're just going to draw a slightly curved line, curved line, leave it floating. Come underneath, slightly curved line, leave it floating. Come over here on the left and we're going to draw Curve line down, and right where we stop, let's do it on the right first. Curve line down, don't connect, because right here we're going to draw wavy, 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 wavy line. Come inside, wavy, wavy, wavy line. If you can fit one more, wavy, wavy. Now come in and do curve lines down and connect, curve line down and connect, and maybe one more curve line connect. Come over here on the left, curve line out, down, off the page, come on the right, curve line out, down, off the page, and I think that's all, we're ready to color. Okay, there is one thing about Thomas Jefferson. He seemed to have some bushy eyebrows. So I'm taking my brown. We're going to double color. And I'm just going to loop-de-loop -loop the right-hand side and loop-de-loop -loop the left-hand side. And I looked at his portrait, which you can Google, and I think he's got brown eyes. So I'm going to loop-de-loop -loop that also. Then I'm going to come in with my black. And I'm not going to totally take over the brown, but I am going to loop-de-loop -loop both the left and the right. And I am going to come down and color over the brown with the black for his eyeballs. Okay? Now, if you have multicultural crayons, you can pick apricot, tan, any of those colors and color in his face. If you don't have multicultural crayons, 
A lot of people don't. You can take your brown and lightly color his face. You can take a pink and lightly color his face. Just to try and get away a little bit from the white. Because as, you, as you'll see, there's not a lot of color going on here. And that's just the way they dressed back during those times. Okay, you'll see in a minute. <clears throat> Next, if you add gray, you might want to loop-de-loop -loop his hair. Now, it looks white in the portrait I saw, but I'm going to go ahead and give him some gray. Because, like I said, there's not too much color going on here, so I'm just going to give him some gray. And then, he's got on an, what we would call a frock coat that is black. So this section, or this space, should be black on the right and on the left. These are colonial times, so this is how he's dressed, formally, because it was a portrait. And they painted, they didn't have photographs back then, so you have to go by what you see. And then this whole section, this whole section, you leave white, because he had on one of those crisp linen shirts. And then again, <clears throat> excuse me, to add a little bit more color. I took a purple and I loop de looped the background. Now, all the way over. Bring it on down. Don't color so hard it hurts your hand. If your hand starts hurting, you need to stop immediately and give it a rest. But you should be able to color in the background pretty fast using this loop de loop. Color. Coloring. Okay. Let's see what he looks like all colored in. Okay, here is Thomas Jefferson, our third president. He helped write the Declaration of Independence and bought the Louisiana Purchase. Okay, bye-bye.